Hey guys, Andrew here at Dadverb. Open-ended toys are increasingly sought after as more parents are looking for toys to foster development without the stimulation from screens, which is why magnet tiles have been a longtime favorite among a ton of families out there. And they've been toys that our kids have played with for almost three years now. So uh, when the brand reached out, they said, hey, we've got a ton of things coming out. I was already on board because this is consistently one of the few toys that continues to be played with. Uh, and in this video, we're gonna highlight some new releases that you might want to consider including to your current play setup or adding to your existing ecosystem of magnet tiles. Uh, but first, let's talk about why this is actually a good toy. So if you're not already familiar, magnet tiles are basically just a construction toy made up of plastic tiles that snap together magnetically. Pretty pretty simple. Now this is an open ended toy, meaning that there aren't any rules or boundaries. The point is for your kids to, you know, explore freely uh, and, and build uh, and customize as far as their imagination can take them. So on a fundamental level, the point is to expand creativity and independent thinking, but they're also dabbling in a little bit of STEM learning, uh, which is like science, technology, engineering, and math, right? They're basically building an understanding of a basic engineering principles of like stability and, and balance because a lot of their build will come crashing down uh in part because their sibling knocked it down uh but there are other other times where it's just because the stable the structure just wasn't stable enough right so they learn to build back up and build stronger structures from the base on up right but that's all part of the learning experience manipulating tiles to go in a certain way ultimately helps you know develop problem solving abilities uh, and that's why it's not uncommon to find magnet tiles at your local daycare, preschool, or kindergarten classrooms, right? Because it's a good toy. So with that said, let's get into what they have, right? I think the most common set that people pick up is their classic 100-piece uh, set. A lot of the footage that you've been seeing is from that. I'm going to have that link below for you. But new to magnet tiles uh, is their In Motion collection, which includes tiles that look like roads to make racing tracks, uh, but also comes with dashers, which are these like kind of uh, cars uh, made to race on magnet tile tracks and then they've got figurines uh, that are racers that can magnetize to the dasher cars and now i think that this is something that is long overdue because one of the most frequent ways that our kids play is to make uh, they call it like mario kart tracks so uh, every track that they make is like rainbow road right uh, and then they'll drive their, their hot wheels cars on on the tracks but now the new set really unlocks a fun way to have that racing kind of play uh, and they're made to really adapt to the existing magnet tiles that you already have but their new set also includes ramps that can be used for like downhill racing and then uh, the dasher vehicles they're you know they're made to stay on the track if you look at the underside of the car there's like this rubber stopper at the back which helps slow down the vehicle from like racing off the track super frequently and you'll notice that the wheel axles have a little bit of movement flex to them right and that makes it so that the cars can turn along uh, the curved tracks now to really accent the racetrack vibes, there are different figures and finish line rectangles as well as pieces that actually look like roads, which again, I think is overdue because this is a really cool way to switch things up. Now, if you just want the roads, which I think is something that a lot of kids would probably want, uh, you can just buy that alone for 30 bucks. Uh, or if you just want the dashers, uh, which come as um, three cars and three figurines, um, to play on magnet tiles that you already have. You can get those on their own as well for 30 bucks. Or of course, you know, you can just get like the full set for 70. Uh, I'm gonna have everything linked for you in the description of the video. Now, ever since we cracked these open a couple weeks back, our boys have definitely enjoyed uh, the racing aspect uh, that's now been kind of added to their magnet tiles. Um, but they also just use the, the road tiles that you see to just build their cities and towers as well. Now, as a side note, if you are looking for fun activities to do for kids age zero, to three years old, I made an entirely free guide for you to check out. It's gonna have a ton of brain building, uh, screen-free activities for you to consider. And one of them, especially for your older toddlers, is gonna be magnet tiles. But a cool way to switch things up is to build magnet tiles along garage doors, right? Uh, it takes your indoor toys, puts them in an outdoor environment and being able to manipulate the tiles uh, along a vertical surface really adds a whole new dynamic of fun. Uh, so if you already have magnet tiles, I would definitely give that a try. It's pretty fun. So again, the InMotion collection, awesome additions to an already great toy line. I think building toys in general are great because not only does it promote, you know, mess-free, mess-free, like it scatters, but it's still 
mess free. I mean, you get what I mean, right? Uh, not only does it offer that kind of STEM learning, uh, but they're highly durable and don't really get old, right? Every time the kids play with them, they're going to be manipulated to form something new. There are countless toys that have come and gone. It feels like a waste of money. This isn't one of them. So that's the general overview of what Magnetiles has coming out and why we've enjoyed using them in our family. But uh, now this is where I defer to you. Okay, I'm gonna need your help because I'm just one person sharing my experiences here. Other parents out there with Magnetiles, please chime in. Tell me your experiences with these toys. What do you like about them? What don't you like about them? And what are some of your favorite open-ended screen-free toys that you feel are the best additions to your playroom? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.